When King Solomon built the first temple in Jerusalem, he knew prophetically that one day the temple was going to be destroyed. However, he gave us a little message and he said that, you know, although the temple won't always be here, something will be. Something's going to take its place. Something very special. Let's try to figure out for a few moments what it was. The temple, and before it was a temple, it was the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the Jewish people built in the desert for 40 years, had within it a number of vessels and items that were very special to the Jewish people. There was a menorah, there was an ark, and in the ark, of course, was a, which was a gold box, there was a wooden box. Inside that wooden box was another gold box. Inside that gold box was a luchot and the first ever Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu, of Moses. There was also Mizbeach, a place where they bought sacrifices, animals. They used to pour wine onto the Mizbeach and they would salt all the meat that went onto the Mizbeach as well. Next to it, there was a small Mizbeach Torah, a little altar. They used to bring the beautiful, delicious smelling spices, the incense that would waft all through Jerusalem. As well as that, there was a table, a shulchan, and on that table there were 12 breads, the lechem ha-panim, the face breads, and they were racked up, six and six. The rabbis tell us something amazing. The temple would one day be destroyed. However, something would take its place, something just as powerful, if not more powerful. And what was that? Shabbat. And look how it all fits together. On the Shabbat table we have meat, just like that meat in the temple. We have the Shabbat lights. That's the light of the menorah. They are the delicious smells of all the wonderful foods we have on Shabbat as well. That was the incense that we had in the temple as well. And the Holy of Holies was the ark. And in the ark were the luchot, the tablets, and the first ever Torah. That is the Torah that we learn on Shabbat, the Kodesh Kadashim. That is the Holy of Holies. And of course we have the bread on the table, and we pour the wine, and we have salt, and all these things come together. Not only as a way to enjoy Shabbat, but a way to bring the temple that is no longer with us into our homes every single week so we can rejoice and be in God's presence at his table, our Shabbat table. Thank you, Shabbat Shalom.